Man, Could've honestly, to anywhere. honestly, man, they threw in a bag though. Being on brand Jordan is not really that dope. Like, look at the brand Dor- Jordan shoes. You Unless got- you're wearing like one of the Jordan models, uh-huh. brand Jordan Jordans are not that tough. So CP3, his line was trash. Um, Carmelo's line was eh. uber trash. I think CP's was worse than Carmelo's. I don't though. know. I don't know. And who am I missing? Um, who else had a signature line spools with Jordan? Can you think of anybody? Michael those, Jordan. Those were the See? those were the two <laughs> See? two that I could remember. Westbrook. Uh, was it yeah. Darius? Was it Russell Darius Westbrook. Miles? Darius no. Miles, Q. Rich, <laughs> yeah. that era they they Russell had it. Westbrook. Jonathan Westbrook. Jonathan Bender. Yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Red August? I'm not listening. Red August is in the building as well. Uh, what Westbrook. were you gonna say? Westbrook. Okay, Westbrook. Okay. Westbrook. Okay. He's like the main guy, pitch guy right now, pretty much. Um, hmm. But to Terry's point, though, there there are some trash, you know, signature shoes that come out of Mike's line. I'm not going to oh, – his is classic. His his line is iconic. You can't go go wrong with those. But uh, some of some those – Some of them are kind of questionable, but – Who, Mike? I think you're safe from uh, yeah. Jordan 1 through – 11? Like 13. 13. They start falling off after 13? Yeah. Okay. I would say so. So 13 had – that was the uh, – he got game joints, hologram joints, right? Yep. In the back, mm-hmm. kind of like that a, was with yes. the uh, Ferrari right? pair. Okay, those then, were cool. And then it started. There then was he, I think after that was the pair that had the patent leather on the tip of the the shoe. Okay, with that little weird sock that went over it. And yeah. Shit. yeah, I do remember those. Yeah, yeah those, those that was are, weird. Those were suspect. He had the joint that came in a suitcase. You remember that? Yeah, that oh, had yeah, like the little chrome around panel on the side with the suitcase. With the suitcase. Yeah. I, was, eh, I don't know about that one. Did so. anybody have the Hakeem Olajuwon's? All right, so I let's have go. the Hakeem Olajuwon's. Actually, My buddy had right some, now, pat, some Pat Ewings. Ewings. Yeah, Shout see? out to Ewings. Yeah, man. I had a Ewings, too. Do you know what brand he was sponsored by since you asked that question? It wasn't Spalding, was it? Yes, it was Who? Spalding. He Who? did have a, he had, he had a pair of Spalding. Who had a pair of Spalding's? Olajuwon was he had sponsored by Spalding at I one point. I thought it was Etonics. No, I got Etonics. Yeah, he, he had, had Etonics and Spalding. I think Etonics was first. But he did have a spotting joint. Who remembers the uh, Barclays, though, back in the day? Oh, those yeah. were, everybody loved those. One of well, my Well, those favorites. were one of the first pair of shoes that cost a bag. Yeah. Those oh, were they? the David Robinsons that were a, a pump. You had to use a CO2. What year was that? Uh, like 91. All the, the David Robinsons heads were going like to get in the, get in I the, the comments. The comments. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like 91, I think, for the David Robinsons. But like when uh, Barkley started dropping the 180s, yeah. those were like $160. Oh, wow. his, his Olympic joint was cold. Barclay's I also Olympic remember was cold. the commercial was Chuck D, right? In For Barkley? Yeah. When, didn't he what work, song were they playing in that, in, that, in that commercial? Was that the I'm Not a Role Model shit? No. no well, there was that, but I thought there was, was a whole different. other one. I'm going to yeah. – I'll double check that. I'll put something in the – but yeah, Barkley has some heat. He Speaking of shoes, though, I had Barkley's in '97. T- like he came out with another pair. Yeah, that year was cold. What were I you had saying? some Grant Hills, man. Some Fiwas. I had those navy blue patent leather. Yes, sir. That's a classic. Not the shoe. patent leather. Not nice, patent though. leather. Nah. No, I didn't have those. I had the ones like his rookie year that he put out. Oh, they kind of looked like the, a knockoff Jordan a little bit, but little they would still fly. Mm-hmm. Navy blue joints with the line, the patent leather on the side. Those I know what ones, ones you're talking about. Those Velvet. were after. Those yeah. were like the next ones. Yeah, the velvet those suede. Cool. What were you saying? <laughs> well, I was Penny saying, Hardaways. speaking of shoes, uh-huh. um, you no know, Zion's been offered a contract by Master P, right? 20 mil. Hmm. For for what do you say? Uh, uh, lifestyle shoes? Yeah, P has a life t- well, lifestyle shoe. Uh, and I think it's called Mo Yachty. Is, is how you pronounce it? And um, he basically was like, it was him and Romeo. They were in an interview by they get interviewed by TMZ, and, he, and they basically were like, "We'll pay you twenty mil just to wear these, just lifestyle. You don't have to wear them on the court. We're not trying to get in the way of when you probably sign with Nike or whomever." And uh, they had twenty mil for him, just on some hometown stuff. So I don't know, man. Like, where's he from? He from who? Zion. He's, He's projected to South go to uh, Carolina, one of the Carolinas. Oh, hometown. I sorry, yeah. I, I I see what you mean now. Yeah, to New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what do you do in that situation? Do you do you like the shoes? That's interesting. I've never heard. Yeah, that's because you know you know what his main one is going to be. It's going to be I mean, a hundred mil or something like that. Well, has anyone ever been offered a? I mean, I don't know a lifestyle. Jay Moore is in the room. He knows shit like this. A lifestyle shoe contract. I've never heard of that. Yeah, nor have I. That's I mean, generally that's the same company usually makes the lifestyle line. Like I know KD has a 
basketball line and a lifestyle line. Okay. So that may just be something else being offered now. I don't know. I don't know if I can see Nike letting them rock those, though. Yeah, who knows? You know, I, I think that's cool. Is. I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, that's a dope idea. Very dope. I like Masterpiece, so I think that's But, cool. I mean, how many people remember the P. Millers? Well, I was going to ask you guys <laughs> how many re- people remember Master P being Ricky Williams' agent and Ricky Williams that's signing a, a, like, tremendously incentive-laden yeah. contract if he hit certain marks. Yeah. yeah. And he just he didn't. I think he was hurt at right. some point and just didn't hit those marks. So it's getting high. Yeah. And that's... That's throwback. That's a good call right there. I, forgot, I totally forgot about that. But I'm that. sure P learned from I, I don't know. I, I think Master P is pretty dope, man. Like, just as far as uh, he's, he's dope, a smart but the shoes, person. The shoes got to be dope, though. Yeah, I have it's, seen like, it's one thing to be a dope individual, but yeah. again, who remembers P. Miller's shoes? I don't. I think Jay Moore had a pair back in. I mean, they were, they were advertised heavy in the source back in the day. Heavy, yeah. They were not dope. Yeah, I don't remember them. So I mean, you if know, he, P if has he, always been an entrepreneur, though, so he going. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's got all kind of shit. He's got potato chips, uh, barbecue cool. sauce, uh, yeah. of course, a record label. Yeah, so you know, he production. had rims for a long time too. He sold rims, different, yeah. different kinds of rims. That's yeah. the one thing you can say about P. He's gonna he gonna find a way to get it. And they offered Zion a uh, role, and I got the hook up too. He said that also. That's he's awesome. like, "We'll put you in a movie." So they don't do that, Jay Moore. I see. <laughs> you gotta want to wear the shit and want to be a. You know, that, that's what you, it man. all comes down to. That's just like the big baller brand. So yeah. They had that that hefty ass price like price tag. Yep. On some whack ass shoes. Yeah. At the end of the day, if if the shit ain't dope, I mean, you can give me twenty million to act like I'm gonna wear them. You ain't gonna wear them though. If they ain't dope, no. <laughs> I feel you. Side I note. I saw something that like, I, <laughs> it's the, it's the Bulls might like. There was a rumor the Bulls might try to trade for Lonzo, Lonzo Ball. Ball. Fresh start for him. He can't stay healthy though, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, you know that he can't stay healthy. I just so, wouldn't. I don't, I wouldn't be super then, super dad, pleased with that. His dad would love Chicago. Oh my God, he'd be all over the place in Chicago. Uh, his dad. <laughs> you know, pops would be out there. Oh, I don't know. It might be. I don't know, man. No thanks. On 69, <laughs> I'll on, just say that. On 69th and Ashland selling shoes. I was going to say, man, that's – I mean, I, I know, know. LA, LA's its own city as well, but I don't know, man. Chicago fans are can be pretty brutal. Yeah, they, they, they definitely don't really take that shit. At all. LA so, fans aren't di- – can we say that? LA I, fans oh, agree, aren't 100%. like diehard you know, sports fans for whatever that's worth as like a Chicago fan or maybe like a New York <laughs> fan. Is that fair to say, Jay, you think? Yeah, they're they're not one of those. Dude, people cities. like do, like don't like show up to the game. They show up to the games late and shit at, in L.A. You know what I mean? It's more of like a it's Hollywood. Yeah, something to do. Chicago, but in Chicago, it's Philly. Yep, Philly, um, New York. I think those are the ones where it's like they serious about the sports. Yep. I would say. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's I would even say here. Here, honestly, people are serious about basketball here for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, you know when the Colts were rocking, it was. It was kind of serious too. I'm talking about when we were, you know, contending a lot, but um, basketball for sure. Yeah, for the Pacers and I mean, just even high school ball. Games sell out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. High school games used to sell out. Yeah. So, I mean, that's oh, yeah, something. Dude. I used to go to a lot of high school basketball games. I, yeah. I don't I don't think the fans here are are as uh, much of, a, of an asshole as, say, a Boston fan or like even like a Pittsburgh fan. You Philly know fans are traditionally the worst as far as I'm concerned like uh, openly yeah. like everybody knows every and like kind of proud of it yeah yeah they embrace it <laughs> they, boot, they boot santa claus they threw snowballs at santa claus when michael irvin broke his leg in veteran stadium they cheered no that's shit. gangster that's gangster he wants yeah. to talk to you as a man in your I want face to talk to you as a man in your yeah. face all right anyways i don't know how we tangent into that but yeah. all right <laughs> 